This is Jeremy Caulfield from Wave Arts, and in this video, we're going to show you a few key features of track plug and master verb. Two key components from Power Suite 6. We've just got a nice melodic pop pad loaded into Ableton's Wavetable synth. And uh, it's got a lot of nice harmonics to it. And that's going to make it a perfect candidate for running through Master Verb. Um, one of the main aspects of Master Verb is its character and time graph. This is a really easy way to dial in the sounds that you need. Um, here I'm going to change some of the damping, the early damping, the late damping, to change the character of the sound. As you can see, everything is visually represented. This is great for sound designers, for beginners, or for people that just don't want to dial everything in with knobs all the time. It's nice to see your sound represented visually. So we're going to look at some options here with our early reflections. Here you can ch choose your reflection types. A number of reflection patterns are provided, including halls, rooms, chambers, and plates. For late reverbs, there's two algorithms, plate or hall. The hall algorithm sounds like a concert hall, and the plate algorithm sounds like a plate reverberator. Plate reverbs have extremely dense and diffuse reverberation. Let's enable the envelope. Mass verbs envelope control is used to alter the amplitude's response of the reverb. When the envelope control is enabled, the output of the reverberator is amplitude modulated by the envelope. The envelope itself has three segments, attack, hold, and release, and is triggered when the input signal exceeds the threshold. You can see that everything is displayed in the frequency response display. Again, great visual representation of exactly what you're doing with it. Let's now pull up track plug Another component of um, Power Suite. We'll add it as part of the signal chain. We'll put it before Master Verb and see if we can attenuate a little bit of sound coming into Master Verb. Let's get back to a warm booth default. And we're over into track plug now and we're gonna do a nice low shelf on our sounds before it hits master verb and uh, let's get a vintage high shelf on here and then you can see the resonant peak giving a bit of vintage character to an otherwise modern sound and then of course the infamous parametric EQ let's play with our synth a little bit and uh, maybe add a modulation source to control um, oscillator one's position on this wavetable synth. Here we'll add an LFO. There we go. Let's try to get this a bit more musical. Hmm. Let's open that up there. Let's sync this LFO. There we go. We can try to lock it into this imaginary step that might be underneath there. Alright, so let's play with our compressor now that we've got a little bit more information coming into our track plug. As you can see, I'm attenuating the peak. And uh, 
We're going to change to Vintage RMS to give it a nice, a little bit more added warmth and some gain, makeup gain here after we've compressed our signal a bit. There's a ton more options to show, but I wanted to keep this video short and sweet and give you a bit of insight into some of the key features. And if you watch some more of our other videos, including the ones noted here, you can find out more about our other plugins, including ones that are part of PowerSuite 6. Thanks for watching.